What's up guys, Anbuff here, and uh, the other day I was on the Play Store looking for some games to download, and here are five that I had an absolute blast playing on my phone. With that being said, hit that thumbs up button, and let's get started. <music> Alright, so the first game is called Into the Dead and even though this is not a new game in any way, it's been there for ages as far as I can remember on the Play Store, it's still a lot of fun to play this. So essentially, it's a zombie shooter inside an endless learner in first person mode, so that brings something new to the table. In case you haven't already played this, you should definitely play it since the graphics are pretty cool, it has that dark edge to it that seems very nice to look at, especially on an AMOLED panel. You also get guns and power-ups along the way and basically you have to go as far as you can without being killed by these zombies out there. You can also buy different types of weapons, you unlock a dog that comes along with you, you unlock different pets, you level up and there are a lot of more missions to complete and you can control it either by tapping on left and right side of the screen or you can also hit it to tilt more depending on which you're more comfortable with. All in all, it's a really clean game and it's free in the Google Play Store. It's been there for ages, you should definitely try this if you haven't tried it even once. I'm sure you'll love it. Alright, next up we have Where Shadows Slumber. Now, while the name might give you a bit of edgy look to it, if you've played Monument Valley either on iOS or on the Android version that came out recently, chances are you love this game. So no, this is not a rip-off of uh, Monument Valley or anything of that sort. It borrows from the optical illusion side of things where you essentially have a person holding a lantern and using different types of reflections of light and controls you have to go from point A to point B. There are a lot of missions out there, for example the one I'm solving right now, you can see you basically have to put the rocks and you have to go to the place we are supposed to. Now this uses the light feature that wherever you want to show light you can add shadows in it and then it basically paves your way. So while you might think a proper way to solve a mission would be this way, it would not be that and you have to find, keep on finding different ways to cross the level. It's really not possible for me to explain this to you guys, you really have to play this one to understand and it's a very clean game with an incredibly soothing soundtrack so if you just want to listen to some music, some really chill music while playing a pretty cool puzzle game to pass your time, this would be your best bet. And once again, it's free on the Google Play Store, the soundtrack is amazing and it's a really good game, the graphics are pretty good, I mean, the visuals look stunning and with the light elements added to it, you'll have a blast playing this, I swear. Alright, the next game on the list goes by the name of Break Neck. And even though I and you both know that these type of games where you basically control a jet spaceship type of thing through an endless maze collecting coins are dime a dozen. There are tons of these type of games on the Play Store. But this one is pretty fun. I mean, I've never really played Subway Surfers or any games of this sort actually having fun. But this one, I don't know whether it's about its different power-ups, the missions, the multiplayer or uh, the graphics of this game, but this game looks absolutely stunning. The soundtrack is sure to get you on your feet if you're into dancing, I am, and this game is absolutely amazing. The speed, the everything, the lens flare and you can see this game is absolutely gorgeous and there are a lot of features such as speeding your way through, collecting boost by giving a two finger swipe. As you can see, when you press it and hold it, it gives a boost. You have people, uh, you know, catching you from behind. There are aliens and these things. And you need to really level up and cross all the missions in order to have fun with it. But it's a really good game. It's free, the thrill and the fun that you're looking for in a classic racing game, which is probably you have played Asphalt 8 and all of those things. This will let you experience something new. Definitely check this one out. So if any of you guys watch PewDiePie or Jacksepticeye for that matter, you'll have a special recognition towards this game. This is Surgeon Simulator. And no, it's not an app that's gonna let you know about what doctors do and perform successful surgeries. Uh, it's basically a psychopathic type of a game. Now this game is paid, it's the only paid game in this list, but it has deserved a spot to be in this list because of its fun element. Basically, you perform different transplants such as teeth transplant, kidney transplant 
and uh, this game is uh, for all of you guys who are a bit on the crazy side i mean this game is not normal i'm going to tell you right now so uh, you have got this guy don't don't think that you're going to do successful good things and save other people's life in here because uh, you literally have axes and all of these things to perform surgeries uh, you can uh, like you can cut open his kidney and uh, I know I kind of sound like a sick person right now but it's really fun and the way this game is projected it's not uh, anything horrifying and stuff I mean yeah there's blood as you can see but it's a really fun game and you need to play it you need to play it to understand I mean I don't even I'm, I'm just laughing while playing this one it's really fun you and this guy's name is Bob or PewDiePie named him Bob and it's a really fun game brings back memories for me but on the other hand it's a really fun game you should definitely play this it was on PC first and now it's out uh, for Android and iOS as well if i'm not wrong so don't really give this one a try it's totally worth your money and you'll have a lot of fun playing it check this one out all right guys next up we have blindscape and there's rarely ever a game especially for a phone that uh, tells a story or actually lets you know how much hard work has been put into it this game is not basically a game. I mean, the screen remains blank for the entire game in case you don't understand what I'm saying. This is a 3D audio journey and I am not a huge fan of these kind of things, but once I saw this on the Play Store and thought of giving it a try, I was left speechless. So make sure your uh, headphones are plugged in whenever you play this. You're not going to see much of it in the video or understand it either. Uh, but it's really an amazing experience. It's basically a story of a guy and his life and how he lives his life and some tragic kind of a thing. And But once you open, wear your headphones and listen to this audio journey game type of a thing, you'll absolutely fall in love with it. I'm going to include a short 10 or 15 second audio from the game itself. Uh, so maybe you guys will like that. But then again, it's a really good game. I'm not going to talk anymore. Just uh, have a listen to this. I still have And that is pretty much it guys. If you guys like this video, you know what to do. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Games are good. Games are fun. You should play games. I mean, I used to be a huge gamer. But then due to YouTube and thing, I really didn't get to get time. But then again, this is amazing. That is pretty much it. This is the Android Guru signing out. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.